Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look. It is super easy, super simple. You guys know how my makeup tutorials are, but before we hop into the video, please make sure you thumbs it up if you end up liking it. And if you do end up liking it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. If you are an oldie but goodie here, make sure your notifications are turned on by hitting the little bell. Um, so you don't miss an upload as well. I currently upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 2 and 5. Um, just so you guys know my schedule as of right now. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Bye, guys. So I'm starting off with a eyeshadow base already on my lid, which wasn't really necessary, which is why I cut the clip. But if you want to know, it is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade French Fries. And then I'm going in with this um, shade Morocco. This is from the Nubian One palette. And then I'm going to go over top that and slightly underneath it, and it is with the shade Over Sabi from the Wahala palette. And I'm just blending that in. I really like this yellow. I don't usually like yellows for like my neutral looks, but I actually really like how this turned out or like how this yellow is. It's just not like a bright yellow. It's just a really nice kind of toned down, like more of a mustardy kind of color. So I really actually been liking this shade. And I just go back in with that shade before. Again, it's Morocco from the Nubian 2 palette. And I'm just gonna kind of blend those together. And then for my lid, I'm going in with the shade Rumors from the palette. And this is the Wahala palette, sorry. Most of the shades are from this palette. This color actually applies way better with your finger. As you guys can see, I started with my brush and I just wasn't really getting the payoff that I wanted. So I just went in with my finger and it applies way better with your fingers. Just a little tip. I applied my lashes and liner off camera um, just because it's just a lot easier for me to do it. Next I'm going to go in with my primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm just going to be applying that to my skin to prep my skin for foundation. Now I'm going to go in and color correct. This is my Black Radiant Orange Corrector and I usually apply this around my mouth just to get rid of the discoloration. I don't know. I just have like a dark you know that five o'clock shadow so I always do this for the most part and apply it around my mouth as well next I'm gonna go in with the uh, I believe this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade chestnut and I'm gonna use this to highlight uh, my face underneath my eyes bridging my nose my chin and on my forehead and then I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade number four and I'm just gonna use that shade to contour. Thank you. 
next I'm gonna go in and just line my waterline this is the NYX stay put eyeliner I need to find a new eyeliner guys I just I just been using this one because it's the one that I have that's still very creamy um, so if you guys have any recommendation preferably black owns you can leave it down in the, the comment section let me know what eyeliner you guys like Next, I'm gonna go in with my setting powders. I am going to be, oh, sorry. No, I'm going in with my Born This Way, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai and Spiced Rum, and I'm just gonna be applying this to my skin. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. Today, again, it was cooperating, so we're, we're, we're loving it for today. So I'm just gonna go in and blend that out with a beauty blender. Next to set underneath my eyes, I went in with the, I believe I went in with the shade Kalahari from Juvia's Place to set my under eye concealer very lightly. And I always use a brush when I use this particular powder. Um, I've been using a brush with like pretty much all my powders right now for underneath my eyes, but definitely the Juvia's Place powder for sure. I find when I use my beauty blender, it just ends up really creasing and just applying a little bit too much. So I just like to go in with a powder definitely for this particular powder. Now I'm going to go in and smudge out my lower lash line. I use the shade Sis. I believe to smudge out my lower lash line just to give my eyes a little bit of depth and just bring this look all together. I love applying colors on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the shade Namib, I believe, from Juvia's Place as well just to set my entire face. Um, this powder is really good for all over the face. Like I said, I'm very careful when I use it underneath my eyes, but for all over face color, it's really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to go on with the shade Stand Up. That is from the same palette from Juvia's Place. Actually, no, I'm lying. It's not. This is the highlighter from Juvia's Place. This is Volume 1, the Tribe Highlighter. I believe it's Volume 1. Yeah, Volume 1. I'm just using that underneath or in my inner tear duct highlight. Now I'm going to go in with some blush. This is from the palette. This is the shade Fire, again, that I'm using on my cheeks. Such a pretty color for a blush. Just so pretty. So I applied that color again, which is the same one that I used in my last video. Next, I'm going to go in and contour. I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Sculpt from that palette and just contour kind of right at the top of my nose. Now I'm going to go in with that same highlight that I used in my inner tear duct and just apply a little bit. I mean, it's all, it's, it's such a small amount and you guys can barely see it. <laughs> Now I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. I didn't need to use a liner, but I just find the need to use one because my lips are kind of small. So I like to really define where they start and stop. So that's why I always line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with this super bomb chocolatey just, uh, I love this color. It's from Beauty Bakery. It's the chocolate for breakfast they're one of their matte lip whips it's so bomb so pretty if you guys have not used this get your hands on it it is the bomb if it's in stock because this thing sells out all the time
So that is it for the look guys. This is super simple, super pretty. I love how this look turned out. If you guys enjoyed it and you enjoy videos like this one, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.